Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about travel nursing. I got a lot, a lot of people that asked me to do this video and I want to preface this video, um, add a disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, to tell you guys that I have never done travel nursing. However, I have worked with a lot of travel nurses. I have actually talked with um, hirers, so to speak, um, of travel nursing companies. So I have a, a knowledge base, but at the same time, I also want you guys, if you do travel nursing, to kind of add to this uh, what you want to call it, like video discussion, so to speak. But I want to tell you guys what I know about travel nursing uh, because I've actually looked into travel nursing. Travel nursing is a great way to, one, travel, <laughs> obviously. Um, it's a great way to see other places and meet new people and also make um, some decent money. Travel nurses typically make more than your average nurse, uh, depending on how you break it all down and all those things. So. Typically, to be a travel nurse, you have to get hired um, with an agency. And to do that, you usually have to have, from what I have seen, a couple years of experience in whatever area you're gonna go into. So if you wanna be an ICU travel nurse, you need to have worked in an ICU already for a couple years. Um, or if you wanna do L&D or med surge, whatever you wanna do, you need to already have experience in that area. And then you apply to a travel nursing company who hires you, and then they help you find jobs to place you different places. So, um, for example, you could get um, hired on a company who maybe has different contracts in these certain states, and then you can say, oh, I would really love the Florida ICU nurse position, and then let's say it's like a 13-week contract. Sometimes they're like up to six months contract. Sometimes people are even places for like a year. It really depends, but you'll sign a contract with that company to work in this place for X amount of time. Now, I don't know what the extent of the contract is. I don't know if like, let's say you had an, something where you need to move somewhere else and you needed to move like the next day, what that entails with the contract. I don't know all that. Um, but most travel nursing companies will offer like benefits and stipends, things like that for your travel. So not only are you getting a little bit higher nursing pay, but they'll also give you like X amount of money for your housing and food and insurance, things like that. And you can choose which things you want to take. Some companies provide you housing where you don't even have to search it and they provide all the furniture and things like that. Some companies um, give you an allotment where you have to go find your own apartment for like three months or house or whatever. A lot of travel nurses will like go in pairs. So you'll kind of like pick a buddy and be like, hey, like where do we want to go next and like let's get an apartment together and split the cost and then you can like make a little bit more money that way uh, but I actually had a friend who was a travel nurse um, back in Washington who worked at a really rural hospital who was at the rural hospital I was at and I believe she was making like it was like 50 bucks an hour or something like that and then anything over 40 hours that she worked was like automatic time and a half so she was making like 80 some dollars an hour it's a crazy a crazy amount it equivalented to like basically two thousand dollars a week or something like that uh, between her her stipend housing allowance and all that but there's also factors to consider like you're gonna be moving every couple months like um, do you have furniture? How are you moving that furniture to and from where you're traveling? Um, or are you finding a place that's already furnished? What if there aren't places that are already furnished? You know, what about pots and pans and all those basic necessity things that you need? So it really depends and it really takes, um, I don't want to say a special type of person because anyone can do it, but typically what I've seen for travel nurses are they're either young nurses who are like single and like, hey, I want to go travel, or they're nurses who, um, have been nurses for a long time and now their kids are like out of high school and they're like her there and their spouse are like hey let's go travel and move a different place every couple months and so it's really up to you uh, I think travel nursing is wonderful it's definitely something I've looked into there's also travel nursing for your area sometimes so I know in the state of Arizona you could get hired with a travel nursing company who has contracts with like just the local hospitals and so you could be just locally uh, personally for me I still want to gain more experience in the ACU and all of that and I like being part of like a close-knit like specific group of people because when you go and travel different places like you're going into a brand new hospital brand new system brand new charting system brand new people like you're potentially like doing everything from scratch again except you have this base of knowledge so 
it really, you know, there's lots of factors to consider, but I think it's a wonderful opportunity for those who want to travel, make a little extra money, move around, see the world, all those fun things. So if you guys have any other information on travel nursing, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear people who have been travel nurses who have a little bit more well-rounded knowledge, so to speak. But again, I think it's wonderful. So I hope this video gave you guys a little insight, gave it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.